It's so windy today and cold. A day like this, I need something rugged. Something that starts with PRC. This one, and uh, oh, here's another one. Yep. Two is one, one is none. I'm going to bring a drone too, something that can resist the wind. Yeah, that one on the right. Back problems? Me? <laughs> Hi, this is Gilly, radio prepper. <laughs> so, this is only a fraction of what I have to do to make a video. That's me. That's what I want to show you. All right, first trip. Second trip. <laughs> so, you know, that's why sometimes I have to take a little break. I always forget something every single time. First, a big shout out to all my Patreon subscribers and uh, people who have sent me a few bucks uh, through PayPal. Without you, uh, I could not, uh, I, I could not make those videos. And this this video today would not be. And uh, so I greatly appreciate it. I would be in great trouble if I didn't have uh, that little extra. It's not much, but you know, every little bit counts. So. If you consider becoming a Patreon subscriber, the link is below, there are other links below that you can use, and I thank you very much. So, what do you think when you hear HF radio? Well, you hear long antennas, you know, DX, long distance, transcontinental communications, NVIS, you know, you put NVIS in the title of a video, you're getting some views, because it's used by the military, so... <laughs> But that's not the whole story, and we'll talk about the military a little bit here. Because HF can also be used for local communications. And I'm thinking about it more and more uh, in this role as a uh, just local and do-it-all, basically, a uh, communication tool. Because, uh, you know, people use walkie-talkies and handheld radios, I have one here. These are very good for local communications. But it's an extra uh, thing to carry. Of course, I would still have one, you know. It, it's it's still, I think, an uh, indispensable tool to have, especially if you, uh, you have a group of people that you need to communicate with. But the fact is that an HF radio can be used for local communications. It's not a handheld, of course, but although they are very small radios, but you still uh, will need some kind of, a, you know, maybe not, super long antenna but long enough to make contact and that's what we're going to try today i brought my prc 320 uh, uh, hf uh, british military radio and i brought the french uh, thompson csf uh, trc 372 which is for lower bands and so we're going to try on maybe 15 or 20 meters with a 2.5 meter whip antenna so that's a pretty short antenna and you'll see that you can make communications with a short antenna. I once communicated from the north of France to, I think it was North Carolina, with a 2.5 meter whip so and, and the PRC 320. So it's definitely possible. We'll see if maybe I can make a contact on 40 meters now. That would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, you know, things happen. So And the military actually does use uh, HF radios uh, sometimes to uh, for local communications, like sh ship to shore or, uh, you know, between... Uh, you know, bases that are not that far between each other. You have to carry only one radio, not two, right? So, hey, so much the better. The disadvantage, of course, is that you can be heard a long way, a long way out, thousands of miles. But if what you're saying uh, has no, you know, bearing on people that are very far away, and there's, there's no problem with it, uh, then, you know, who cares? And it's still very difficult to pinpoint your location uh, with HF, especially if you had a skip in between. So that's uh, now it's you know, it's almost impossible to, to find exactly where you are. You, you can, they can get a general area still because uh, tools like that do exist to pinpoint where you are. And But I think that if there is a skip and you're on HF, if they don't have a direct line of sight, um, that would be more difficult. I mean, the, the, the distance, the precision would be uh, lessened, I would believe. I mean, if someone knows otherwise, let me know. And if you are using NVIS, Near Vertical Incident Skywave, doesn't that sound cool? 
you lessen also your probability of uh, being located. And it's already 11.30 and we gotta go because uh, it's gonna be the time for aperitif, so drinks over there, uh, the uh, Col de Vence with my friends. So uh, just let's go. <rire> ça, ça va C'est quelle fréquence 7100 kHz, 7.1 MHz. Lots of PS. Ah, let's get my chair first. Yeah. Uh, which one is that? I have, well, I think it's the. Yeah, that's good. Alright, here is the station uh, Thompson CSF TRC372 and the uh, PRC320. So uh, this one goes from uh, 3 to. No, 2 to 30 megahertz. And this one does USB and LSB up to 12 megahertz and no higher than that. Both of them are sporting a whip antenna. About two and a half meters for the PRT320 and looks like it's around uh, more like 2.8 or 2.85 for the uh, TRC. French Guiana is on uh, 10 meters. So let's give it a shot. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox Trot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, um, it's not me. Oh, you're in a contest. Uh, sorry. No, I'm not in a contest. Just DX. Uh, Fox Trot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Back to you. You have a very good signal here in the south of France. Over. Good luck. Yeah. Well, that's one contact. Fox Trot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox Trot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox Trot for Fox Trot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Thank you very much. You are a 5858 here in the south of France, uh, QSL. No, thank you very much. 73. Well, 15 meters seems to be no challenge at all for the PRC320 and the uh, 2.5 meter whip. So I think I'm going to try uh, 40 meters on the uh, TRC372. Now, 40 meters on such a short whip, uh, just around 3 meters, uh, that's going to be a challenge. I'm going to connect a counterpoise, a 10 meter counterpoise. I didn't have one before. I'm going to connect it now and uh, we'll see how that works. A very good tune, very good tune on 40 meters. Merci beaucoup, oui, c'est Gilles, effectivement, ici, euh, euh, sur le col de Vence, dans le sud de la France, près de Nice, donc avec un appareil militaire, et je fais une vidéo pour euh, YouTube. À vous. Ok, Gilles, merci beaucoup pour la vidéo sur YouTube. Je suis en train de regarder votre chaîne, donc, en fait, je suis un fan. Donc, merci beaucoup pour le contact, 73, et passez un bon week-end, 73, Florida 4, Whisky, bravo Yankee. Tango Mexico 5, Florida. Okay. Euh, merci beaucoup. Et votre QTH, QTH, s'il vous plaît Le QTH, c'est Ile de Frioul, Ile de Frioul à côté de Marseille. Le référent pour la Yota, c'est Echo United euh, 095. Echo United 095. Tu vas savoir Merci beaucoup euh, et merci encore. Une excellente journée et un très bon dimanche de F4. Whisky, bravo, Yankee, à vous. Merci, Gilles, 73.
73. Il vient de contacter les scouts. Ah. Foxtrot for whisky. Bravo, Yankee. Uh, Fox 4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Fox 4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Florida 4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Italy Kilo 2, India, Quebec, Delta. You're 5 and 9, 59. Name is uh, Flavio, over. Thank you very much, uh, Vladio. Uh, my name is Gilles, uh, Golf India Lima. I'm here uh, north of Nice, uh, le, au nord de Nice. Col de Vence, Col de Vence, portable, avec un appareil militaire euh, TRC-372, TRC-372. Vous avez un très bon signal, pas de S mètre, mais sans doute, euh, I think, uh, 5958. Uh, à vous. Oui, d'accord, vous êtes portable à Col de Vence. Euh, vous arrivez très bien. Ici, le prénom Gil, c'est Flavio. Il est QTH, c'est le lac des Comos, dans les Alpes italiennes, après de la côté avec la Suisse, dans la zone touristique de le lac des Comos. Et vous arrivez bien avec euh, votre station portable. Il y a trafic avec 80 watts, avec une dipole multiband à 7 mètres d'altitude dans le balcon de la maison. Florida 4, Whisky Bravo Yankee Portable, Italie Kilo 2, India Québec Delta. À toi, Gilles. Merci beaucoup, Flavio. Hein. Excellent avec euh, l'antenne sur le balcon. Hein. Très, très bien. Hein. Moi, ici, j'ai 20 watts, 20 watts avec une, une antenne fouée sur l'appareil, antenne de 3 mètres, antenne de 3 mètres. Voilà, et ça passe très bien, hein, c'est surprenant. <rire> Merci beaucoup en tout cas, c'est un très bon contact, hein, c'est une bonne distance avec cet appareil. Hein. À vous. Bon, c'est formidable avec l'antenne de 3 mètres dans l'appareil, et ça va même de 20, 20 watts, vous passez formidable, hein, 5, 9 plus 5. La, la modulation, c'est impeccable. Ah, hein, vous ça. arrivez très bien, Gil. Alors, bonne activité portable. Et je, je crois que l'altitude, il vous donne une très bonne hutte. Et vous arrivez très bien ici dans l'Italie. Bon samedi, bonne activité en radio. Et joyeux dimanche, bien sûr. Florida 4, Whisky Bravo Yankee portable. Italie Kilo 2, India Québec Delta. Salut, Gil. Bonne activité. Merci encore et vous pourrez trouver la, la vidéo de ce contact sur YouTube, YouTube Radio Prepper, Radio Prepper sur YouTube, la vidéo sera sans doute postée ce soir ou demain. Merci encore et euh, bonne journée de F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee. Je vais remercier beaucoup, hein. je veux regarder demain ou le prochain jour, je, je vais chercher dans YouTube, d'accord, merci. Très heureux de regarder votre position et cette contact avec YouTube. Merci Gilles, bonne continuation, à bientôt. À la prochaine fois de F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee, bon dimanche. Elle est même pour toi, bon dimanche, bonne activité Gilles, ciao. So, as you can see, uh, local communications and not so local, very long distance communications are possible using a chef with a short whip. So, and especially for uh, more like local communications, I mean, up to hundreds of kilometers or miles is possible and it works really well. And that's because when you go lower uh, in frequency, you have a better penetration you can still get NVIS uh, an NVIS effect even with a short vertical like that there's always you know because I'm using a counterpoise a little bit of signal that gets straight up and gets radiated uh, refracts at a very high angle and gets radiated all around so very good for local you know 20 30 40 miles maybe and very good for you know a few hundred kilometers or a few hundred miles And that's why it's so good to have one of these radios. And that's why I'm even considering, I mean, you know, trying to use maybe a little uh, transceiver, like CW transceiver, QRP, for local communications. Why not? You know, why not? Because it fits in your shirt pocket, literally. And it's not any bigger than a handheld radio. Of course, you would need a buddy that knows Morse code and has one too. But... 
uh, it's not impossible to to think about these uh, transceivers, uh, QRP transceivers on HF lower bands to you know something you can set up with uh, you know string up a wire, a horizontal wire, even a long one for 40 meters, for instance, and having local communications on HF and it works really well. So something to consider, something to keep in mind. If you need to use it, it works. Have a good one.